Hello, good day everyone. Here is the continuation of our previous lesson on how to solve problems that are related to symmetrical functions of quadratic roots. Here we are given that alpha and beta are the quadratic roots of this quadratic equation and we are asked to simplify this. Remember, I told you before you even start, you need to find the sum and the product of the quadratic roots. Sum meaning alpha plus beta which is given as negative b over a. And the product is alpha times beta, which is given as c over a. And b is the coefficient of the middle term, which we have here as four. So we are going to take negative four, divide by a, and a is the leading coefficient, which is two. This is equal to negative two. Then for this, we have c, which is constant, one, over a and a is the leading coefficient which is 2. Hence we can see that the sum and the product of this quadratic root are negative 2 and 1 over 2 respectively. So we can write them aside. Alpha plus beta equals negative 2. Alpha times beta equals 1 over 2. Now let us use this information to find the solution for these three problems. The first one, alpha cubed beta plus alpha beta cubed. Remember, we do not have anything in this form. All we have is sum and the product. Therefore, let us transform this function in such a way it will contain one of these or all of them. So let's factor out alpha beta. So we can say this is the same thing as alpha beta. They multiply by uh, from the first term, we already factored this beta and alpha. All we have is alpha squared, then plus. Here we have beta squared left. You can see we have the product, but we do not have anything in this form. But in our previous lesson, you have seen that we have driven this to be equal to alpha plus beta squared minus two alpha beta. So we can substitute that with this. This is equal to alpha beta times alpha plus beta squared minus two alpha beta. And this is the transformation of this function. And we can now substitute our information in here. This is equal to, the first one is product. We have our product to be equal to one over two times Inside we have the sum which is negative two, negative two, but this one contains a square, minus two, then the product is one over two, then we simplify. This is equal to one over two times, negative two squared is four, minus two times a half is one. So we can say, this is equal to one over two times four minus one is three, which is equal to three over two. Therefore, alpha cubed beta plus alpha beta cubed is equal to three over two. And this is the solution for this first problem. Now let us look on to the second one. The second problem we have alpha over beta plus beta over alpha. Again, this does not correspond to any one of this. So let us transform these two units of fractions into a single one. And uh, the LCM is going to be alpha beta. If you plug in beta here, you're going to obtain alpha times alpha is alpha squared plus if you plug in alpha here, you're going to obtain beta times beta is beta squared. Alpha squared, beta squared is the same thing as alpha plus beta squared minus two alpha beta divided by alpha beta. So now let us substitute everything here. The first one we have alpha plus beta squared. Alpha plus beta is uh, negative two all squared, the minus two times alpha times beta is one over two, so we have one over two here. Divide by alpha times beta is one over two. 
this is equal to this is 4 minus this is 1 over 1 over 2 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 divide by a half is just like multiplying by 2 if you take the reciprocal of 1 over 2 and hence this is equal to 6 which is alpha over beta plus beta over alpha. Now let us look on to the last problem which we have as alpha cubed plus beta cubed. Alpha cubed plus beta cubed. We do not have anything in this form, but once we expand alpha plus beta cubed, we shall obtain two times that correspond to this one. So now let us expand this. Remember this can be written as alpha plus beta times alpha plus beta squared. For the expansion of this, we have alpha plus beta multiplied by the first time squared is alpha squared plus beta squared plus two alpha beta. Now alpha times alpha squared is alpha cubed. Alpha times beta squared is going to be alpha beta squared. Then alpha times two alpha beta is going to be two alpha squared beta. Now we'll move to the second term. This time this is going to be alpha squared beta. This time this is going to be beta cubed. And the last one, this time this is going to be two alpha beta squared. You can see we have alpha cubed, beta cubed. So we can bring them together, alpha cubed, beta cubed. Then we can join these two times together and we can factor alpha beta. So plus alpha beta. Here we will have beta left and here we have alpha left. So we can write them as alpha plus beta. And again, we can join these two. We can join this and this together by factoring out two alpha beta. Then inside we have alpha plus here we have beta but these two terms are the same we have two quantities of this and we have a single quantity of this if you join them together we have three quantities so we have alpha cubed plus beta cubed plus three alpha beta times alpha plus beta and the whole of this equal to the expansion which we have here as alpha plus beta Cubed. Now this is what we are looking for, which we can make the subject of this equation by saying this is equal to this minus this. Now we can write it here. This is equal to uh, alpha plus beta cubed the minus three alpha beta times alpha plus beta. This is what we have as alpha cubed plus beta cubed. Now let us substitute everything here. Alpha plus beta is given as negative two. So we have negative two, uh, but this is not a square, but a cube. Sorry for that. This is a cubed, the minus three times alpha times beta is one over two. Then multiply by alpha plus beta, which is negative two. This is equal to negative eight. Because of this multiplication, this will transform this to positive. This time this is one, time this is three. This is equal to negative five, which is just equal to alpha cubed plus beta cubed. And hence, this is the solution for this problem. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.